I am leaving now. I break the lease. I'm not gonna eat my brother's shit. <laughs> Oh yeah, as much man, Randy Savage. Uh, Savage. Uh, We're gonna eat your ass here, the uh, Chuck Stew Show, because that's what Chuck Stew does best: eating ass. Uh, Sean, you have to take your diamonds, you know, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? He's all tall. Oh, <laughs> he's all sweating profusely and shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Imagine taking a hat like over your face. Like he spreads his cheeks over your face. Oh shit. Whoa, okay. Chuck's do show. Welcome. Sorry for that little sidebar here. We're watching NXT again. If y'all are tired of it, unsubscribe because I don't give a fuck. We love NXT here. We've got our shirts. Chuck over here has got the Dash and Dawson, the Revival shirt. Dr. Pearl Susan Brooks got the American Alpha shirt. So we're ready for this match. And it, take it away, Chuck. Oh yeah, so the Macho Man, Randy Savage, says like the Bliss is going to get heavily fucked by the Hype Boys. Heavily I'm fucked. Joking. No, he's not joking. She's getting fucked in the ring right now. And there's Buck Strickland putting his input in. But, uh, my name, once again, hello everybody and welcome. I am your Corey Graves, and he is Tom Phillips. Once again, to the Chuck Sue Show. Once again, I'm your host. I am the most, and I have it all. I, well, I wish I had it all. I'm not done fry, but getting pretty close, Chuck, still. And here we have here the man who calls it right down the middle, just like Bill Alfonso from ECW. He's going to be taking on Finn Baylor in the next episode of the Chuck Sue Podcast, Dr. Pearl Season Book. Tom Phillips likes to eat ass, and uh, my name is Dr. Pearl's Houston Book. Here we have Mr. Austin Aries. Um, Harry Aries. Harry, Harry Aries, recently from TNA. Uh, he's uh, one of the big pickups from TNA that NXT's recently had. What do you think about good old Austin Harry? I'm actually still a pretty big fan. I know some of the people online were saying that, you know, oh, uh, Chuck Sousa Mark, oh, Austin Aries, oh, dude, is he doing that good? Yeah, I mean, I think he's pretty good. I mean, you know, he's unique, he's talented, he does all these crazy moves, he's an acrobatic wrestler. I mean, what what's not to like? But, I mean, I really never understood the whole thing of the Hype Boys or whatever the hell these guys, the Hype Brothers, Hype Brothers, Hype Boys, Hype Brothers, Hype Boy, the Brothers. It's, it's just a random tag team so that way Alexa can be on the screen with her sexy ass. I mean, if Alexa wants to be on the screen... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, it's fine. Oh, my God. Who's this? It's Shinsuke. Really? It's Shinsuke. Shinsuke and Austin Aries going to be tag team chat, tag team partners. Holy shit. For those of you that don't know, and if you don't know, you should just stop listening and check you right now. Shinsuke Nakamura is one of the most exciting talents we've ever seen. Ever. I'm saying ever. King Honestly. of Strong Style. King of Strong Style. When this guy debuted his first match with Sami Zayn, one of the best we've ever seen. It turned us on to NXT, keeps us watching every single day just to see this guy perform. I heard he doesn't even know English, but he doesn't fucking need it, because I don't give a shit. I'll learn Japanese just so that way this guy can be well, more welcome. He's like Taz, he speaks with his hands, but I can't really bring that up around Buck Strickland because he thinks Taz is a bitch. But he spoke with his hands, he didn't use weapons. Uh, this guy doesn't really need to know how to speak English to fuck Alexis, so... I'm sure he's fucked every diva in the backstage. I mean, look, look at what he's wearing, what is this? Made of scales? Black scales? He's got some red pants on. He's doing the Finn Balor dip. Um, is that the Finn Balor dip? That's a Shinsuke dip. Finn Balor, well I am probably the number one fan of Finn Balor, as you would know if you listened to the previous episodes. Shinsuke is a different beast here. Completely different. Yes. Now, I'm glad that they're pairing him with Austin Aries because I feel like personally Austin Aries has kind of been miscast so far in NXT. They kind of haven't been pushing him the way they need to. So I'm glad that these two get the chance to shine together. Yeah, Asian Dust and Austin Aries. That's going to be the next great tag team. If uh, William Regal, Triple H, Vince McMahon, whoever is uh, given the last save for this. Is okay with it? I don't know, but... I think the intention truly is for all the NXT guys to eventually move up to the main roster. 
especially big names like Austin Aries, who's known amongst several different promotions. I'm sure their intention is to eventually get him up there, just as they've done with Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Never. Damn. They're going to do with Finn Balor. Is that is that it? Oh, okay. That was a missile dropkick right to the face, executed just like... That looked like one of uh, Daniel Bryan's moves right there. Be the boot into Nagamore and Tom Phillips. You need to shut the fuck up. And I'm calling this match. <laughs> so, Tom that's Phillips likes seed ass and it's all man's ass. Yeah, that's, so that's a head to the turnbuckle. It says NXT right there. NXT on my shirt. NXT on Doctor's shirt. He's uh, selling the boot to the neck for the chokehold. That is a snapmare done perfectly. And the first knee to the face. We just saw in the uh, UFC that we were betting on earlier that um, a caterpillar hair got uh, knocked out by a flying knee at the beginning of round number two by something, what was his name, John Fisher? Something like that. I have to say, you know, I don't know what it is about this, but I feel like the actual wrestling aspect of NXT is a lot more clean and professional than WWE is. I don't get what the difference is here. It's like, do they care more in NXT? Like, everyone sells the moves. Everyone puts everyone else over. There are barely any botches. Rarely any botches unless barely. Eva Marie's involved. It's just like, it's, it's all great wrestling. I don't, I don't understand, like, why the D-League for WWE, the supposed D-League, is just, like, kicking ass in every fucking way. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, we were actually just talking in the car, and me and the doctor here, uh, as we were going to Wings and stating that uh, NXT is actually not a household name, at least as of yet, even though they've been around for like five years. And we actually went uh, to a restaurant that sells wings that we've been going to for the last five, possibly six years, and uh, no one recognized our shirts. So I, uh, I thought one of the waitresses would say, oh, wait a minute, you're wearing a no flips, just fists, let me flip your dick out of your pants, use a fist to <laughs> grapple and choked your dick, but <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. I mean, um, one of the waitresses that a Dr. Protein's book has a crush on did touch his shoulder. So that is a knee to the stomach of Mr. Hype Brother, <laughs> Luigi and Mario the Hype Brothers. Yeah. What was... I don't know, a floater? That's what shit's pants. called in toilet... What? It says Murphy. His name is Blake and Murphy. Yeah, though. there it is. The knee is done. Oh, that was the flying knee? Dr. Proceed's book, you know that was two flying knees in two different sports we just saw tonight that ended a match? Did you Alexa's notice that? Alexa's mad. Brooklyn? Alexa, it's okay, baby. I'll fuck you good tonight. The same. He's got the dick the size of a baby's leg. <laughs> and Dr. Pearl's use of book is going to use it with authority. So, Slap that bitch around. And just shoots out like... across the room. What? <laughs> like one of those sticky hands on those 50 cent machines? That's your dick? It's like I grabbed the dick and went... <laughs> like Scorpion and he goes, get over here and he throws a spear. Get over here, he goes inside the girl's mouth, pulls her, pulls her intestines out. So Dr. Pearls used to book, uh, when it comes to Alexa Bliss, um, you've actually, uh, um, people were saying that you actually uh, invented some type of special serum to go as fast as the flash. And there is a conspiracy theory online going around that when she was waiting for a taxi, uh, she somehow got <laughs> raped in a, in a, a sense of a less than a millisecond. So, I know nothing about that. Um, it's, it's, she was not raped. What did she do? You. Why is she walking away She's leaving them. them. Oh, my God. Does that mean that Alexa is going to go to the main roster? Because that means I will watch WWE. The Buck Strickland, who is your favorite wrestler on this program? Buck, who's who's the best guy in this program? Or best group? <laughs> Damn it! Oh shit! And then Murphy's leaving Blake, or Blake's leaving Murphy. I don't know which one the fuck they are. They look exactly the fucking same. A bunch of white fucks with long hair. It's Team Orion. It's Orion and Orion. And there's Bailey. On a scale of one to five thousand, how much would you have anal sex with Bailey? Anal sex? Yeah. Is there lube? Oh, plenty of loop. There's plenty of loop. Okay. Well, I guess a little over 5,000 because I I wouldn't want to hurt her by having anal sex if she wasn't used to it because I don't want to pull out and accidentally pull out her anus at the same time. Dr. Pearl's decent book. Have you ever treated any woman 
uh, who came into the emergency room with pink sock. I have, yes, and the, the, the proper technique is a surgical technique called, uh, it's called threading of the asshole. It tightens it up back again. I've done it plenty of times. Threading? Yeah. Like sewing? Basically, yeah. It's, it's essentially tightens up the asshole. Would you need to tighten up the asshole of someone who already has a tight asshole? No, obviously not. The only reason you tighten up the asshole is Okay. Honestly, you don't need to tighten your own asshole unless you have a loose ass asshole. So, okay, so from what I'm getting from Dr. Cambridge, in order for the tightening of an asshole during surgery, you already need to have a loose ass asshole. So. Exactly. Like you, you have, your asshole has to be hella loose or else you won't need a threading. Dr. Pearl's Houston book. That's great. Let's go to commercial break. We'll talk about the, the tightening of loosened assholes. Right. Uh, so Chuck's too is actually brought to you by um, loose ass women, ass women in red and <laughs> loose thin assholes. I'm sorry, my words. Loose assholes incorporated. Loose assholes. Uh, please don't put things in your ass. If they're gonna just fall right out. Yeah, you don't want to be sitting on the toilet and just shit just falls out. You have no sphincter or anything. You need that shit. Yeah, you don't want to be like. Um, Dr. Pearls is uh, ex uh, wife's brother's girlfriend. You don't want to be uh, on the toilet and then things just randomly fall out. Like, you know, yeah, you don't, like, you don't like, want to actually some change. You don't want some yeah. bottles. You know, you don't want that shit to happen. Hailstorm. I know a fan of Hailstorm is Julie. Julie likes Hailstorm. Julie likes Hailstorm. We know that for a fact oh, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Julie has asked for Hailstorm's album. I like Axana, but I don't like Hailstorm. I think Hailstorm is the she's the female Nickelback. So if Vince sees new metal bullshit, he says, "Let's get them on and promote the pay-per-view." So I'm balls. I feel like there's Vaseline. The lead singer of Hailstorm has a real large mouth. That she yeah. could fit many cocks. That's how she stretched it out in the first place. Oh, she just kept on putting more and more dicks in unless until it like stretched itself? Yeah, she puts two in it. She's like, one, two, three, four. She's like, four, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Oh, it looks like she's playing like Chubby Bunny you know, with the marshmallows with <laughs> cocks. All the dudes have to stand really close to the like <laughs> She's like, 22 with dicks all in her mouth. Your Chubby Bar. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's another one. Bailey's actually considered one of the new four horsemen. How do you feel about that, Dr. Fulton's book? One of the new four? Are you talking like referring back to like Arn Anderson and Ric Flair? Like yes. that? It's Charlotte, Bailey, Becky Lynch, and Sasha Banks are the new four horsemen. I, I mean. I don't know. I don't, I don't get, understand why you have to have a. Another four horsemen gimmick with women. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for I'm all for women having quality and stuff and quality. But like, you don't have to rehash old ideas. Just make new ones. Like, like radicals. Yeah, like, don't have the new radicals of like a Dean Malenko copy and a Perry Saturn copy. Cause that shit's like that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't work. Well, Nickelback has a copy. Are they called Hailstorm. <laughs> I don't so, like this promo. I, I personally am not a fan. I no, I'm not. A, I mean, if it's the year 2016, which it is, is it? Uh, you're not allowed to make new metal. I'm sorry. You're not allowed to make glam fucking mix of a glam and alternative rock. You're not allowed to do that anymore. You know, I like tomatoes. Well, <laughs> like bring in. Jose, I have to welcome you oh. to NXT. You seem really. No way, Jose. Way I like how Vince is, uh, he's a hiring mentally handicapped people. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, it hasn't been since Eugene, you know, you know, he hasn't hired a mentally handicapped person since Eugene, so it's good to hear that he's still, uh, you know, active in that, in that realm. Well, Dr. Juggs, the other gynecologist, was telling me, um, uh, um, Buck Strickland this week, that I didn't know if you knew this, but when it comes to companies, a lot of the CEOs will go ahead and hire people that have men clear mental or physical disabilities, 
Hold on while I come. But, <laughs> but you talk about Nia Jax, people. The reason why he as Nancy. to he uh, uh people uh, uh, companies hire them is so they can get a tax break for be doing the good, the right thing and hiring mentally handicapped people. Doctor Prosy's book is going to commercial break. Well, they need, they need a job. That's right. Trucks was brought to you by um, Slim. And, uh, Fishy Pussy. Chuck Su is brought to you by Fish Pussy. And if it smells like low tide, you're in Bev's house. Please leave. Evacuate the ocean, Bev. Speaking of Beverly Smith, she's moving into a new apartment today. And we're buying her furniture. We're buying her furniture. We're gonna help her move. We're gonna have a telephone to buy Bev's furniture. She's living. She's moving really close, guys. She's in town now. She's within like five minutes. Oh. Right. So if you ever want to, you know. First of all, I just want to say it's so unfortunate what happened to Enzo. She doesn't give a fuck. Is he, is he dead? No, he's coming back like at a house show next week. He is killing it. No, he's not. He's freaking May invented raw. He's making me He's he's not he's not killing it. Don't listen to her. <laughs> That wasn't that good of a promo, Carmella. Listen, I gotta debunk some of your theories there. Uh, Cass is not doing well in, NA, in in WWE because he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Without Enzo, he has no voice and he's just like a big guy. And we all know what happens to big guys. They're fucking wasted. They get stuck stories. in the giant gimmick. Exactly. Oh, it's the moonwalk. That is the moonwalk. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Stewart here. Still. <laughs> Bitch making a sneeze all urgent her. She wrestles with those earrings then? Oh, I swear. It's just such, such a fucking ha hazard. I think she's just coming out to cut a promo. Yeah, because she's not in the wrestling attire. Yeah, but she's not with them anymore, though. Yeah, she's trying to put her own gimmick over as like a New Yorker or whatever. But... Did you see that Asian dude in the front? He's going like this. Angry <laughs> <laughs> Whitey, you can see it. Who's this? Peyton Manning? Peyton Royce. Royce yeah. Gracie? Peyton Manning. Let's Royce... judge her on her appearance. Oh, she's no Peyton Manning. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. This is not Peyton. <laughs> Big forehead ass fight. <laughs> I'd rather not have Peyton Manning fight in the women's division. Yeah, I don't want to see Carmella fight five head. So, <laughs> I'm fine with God. that. It's some cheetah's fly trap? <laughs> I make a lot of things with that. I spent, um, liquid substances with that. Uh, if, if I wasn't a smart fan, I would think this would be a good match, but we know, we all know it's just a squash match to get Carmelo over. Just watch. Poison well, Ivy, the bat villain. Can we just talk about the obvious thing? Mr. J! Mama Daisy, Mama Daisy, people don't have a car crash. Why is my name Florida? That's the name of a state! What are you talking about? <laughs> We're on air, guys. <laughs> Dr. Pearl sees the book. Let's go ahead and call the botches here. That is a perfectly executed snap man. That's a perfectly executed execute botch. Execute versus executor. And she's actually putting over for the headlock. She dug the end of the uh, elbow into Carmella's uh, shoulder there, and then it was sprawled out into what you can see as a Gracie Jiu Jitsu hold on the neck. So that's no one pretty fucking stood. good. Why can't you just like stomp on it? It's just the ace. Uh, well, they have faces though. Yeah, we just get like a Pokemon and like stomp them out. Like, what if Genghis Khan has a move stop or, like, yeah, just Needle King? Yeah, just like, dies. You can't, like, read, like, you know, like, heal it. 
Dr. Pearl's use of book. Um, so when it comes to execute in a safari zone, wouldn't there be a possibility that is being explored by Buck Strickland? If you have your Pokemon, you stomp, and then the eggs will just kind of explode and die. So, uh, how go? I, I would assume as Pokemon where their heads are eggs, that they, their shells would be stronger than just average eggs. Or else that would make a pretty weak Pokemon. But, but a lot of those Pokemon like Nidoking are like a thousand pounds, and the pressure they have of like, you know, attacking. Um, I don't know, I, I, I feel like maybe they didn't think of that. And she's doing the fucking Three Amigos. Oh, into a that fucking... Three Amigos, that's from, uh, what's his name, uh, Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero. Poison Ivy, she's uh, unleashing all the stops here, so it doesn't look like too much of a squash match. I know Camilla is going to win, but... I think they're trying to, trying to, what they're trying to do is probably fill the views division in NXT, because a lot, of the, a lot of the women left to WWE all at once. Right now, all the, all the, all the main divas are Bailey, who's leading soon, Asuka, who's the champion, Carmella and fucking and Alexa, those are only four. So they gotta they gotta add more. Uh, Doctor Brosie's bug. It doesn't look like the uh, fans here are too behind. What's going on? Well, to be honest, I mean, there's not they're not that impressive. These are smart fans going to this show, and they've seen Becky Lynch, they've seen Sasha Banks, they've seen Charlotte. As in a matter of a couple months ago, so they're not going to be phased by some weak ass wrestling. And she, sh that was that was not the Bronco Buster. She didn't ride it. Downward spiral. Downward spiral into inverted spine. They're just making up moves here, guys. That's, that's not actually an inverted triangle because it, oh, I just don't even need to explain it. Watch the show and you'll see. I think she needs to do what um, what's his name should have done already. Like Dean Ambrose, she's doing what Dean Ambrose needed to stop doing already, and that means stop being goofy with your fucking gimmick and be more serious. Because Dean Ambrose is almost there, but he's still being too goofy. This ain't the goof troop movie. This ain't the fucking goof troop. Oh, and there's Finn Balor. Look, Finn Balor is cut as fucking all hell. Oh my god. Samoa you know, Joe like is fat as all hell. Pain in 98 there. We're going back to a house show in Portland last Saturday. Portland is uh, my adopted home, if you guys don't know. Yes. I need to live there because NXT is coming to Portland. And I want to go to fucking NXT show. How about that? Ms. Dow, you see, um, Ms. Dow's uh, American Alpha. There they are. And he's all like, I'm wearing their shirt. I'm oh, wearing that shirt. You did a kid cash flip right there. Look at, look at Jordan. I'm wearing that shirt right now. Where's the, where's the rival? The revival's in there too. I see him. Where's there's the guy with the red is? trunks. The guy with the red trunks. There the guy, he is. He's got that's the uh, that's uh, Dash right there. Yeah. Then you know you you're destined for greater things. Don't worry about that NXT title. That shit's garbage. Then we appreciate your talent, but get the fuck to the main roster and win that world title. Yes, because please. God no, damn it. They're gonna bring him the Roman Reigns. Gonna bury a bunch of buried if, if if they do that, I'm gonna not watch the show. I think we're gonna have to go ahead and go to a show either televised or house. Doesn't matter. And then. When uh, we hear his music and he's coming down, well, he doesn't come from the rappers anymore. When he comes out, it's Donna, Donna. That's when we jump the rails and we need to go jump him. So, <laughs> Dr. Frost, Houston Buck, you're pretty good with a chop block. I think I can throw a double, uh, a double, what's it called? It's not a drop kick. A double insiguri with both legs, and we can, we can. Provide the fans with a proper tar elimination. Okay. All right. That's the ultimate. That's the ultimate humiliation. Getting penetrated in the ass by Buck Strickland with his hand. 
They're signing a contract right now for the steel cage match. The very first steel cage match in NXT history. On Spacebook? On Fuckbook. This interview's on Fuckbook? <laughs> hey, Fuckbook's the place to go. We're sponsored by Fuckbook. Chuck Stu is sponsored by Fuckbook. Um, bondage Galore. And adamandeve.com. <laughs> I told Nancy, what are you doing in, what are you doing in wrestling, Nance? <laughs> She's like, I like her. So she kicks ass. Sean has to go to the bathroom after her match. <laughs> take a shit. <laughs> I'll take a shit. And William Regal is appalled at this activity. Yes. Joe, the NXT championship will be defended for the very first time inside a steel cage. Damn. Balor is possessed with getting back the NXT championship. Did you know Dr. Proceed's book that back when Finn Balor was Prince Devitt, he was the one that invented the Bullet Club? Really? Yes. Wow. I looked it up. That's why it's called the Balor Club now or something? Something like that. He was Prince he actually debuted in the year 2000. So yeah, he's pretty old, actually. I think I think he's in his mid 30s. He's been in the he's been in the business of pro wrestling for 16 years. Another 10, and he's going to retire. But that's understandable because of how fucking good he is. He's had God knows how much time experience in the ring with cutting promos and learning the business, which is what. Who said you're supposed to do if you want to be the best? You're going to spend a decade on fucking independence. That's the only way it's going to work. You can't just come in like E. Marie. Oh, wrestling? Oh, geez, I think I can do that because I'm pretty fuckable. So she is very fuckable, not pretty fuckable. I would, I don't know what I would do if E. Marie was in my bed. I would probably just prematurely ejaculate. You walk and see her go. No, she'd be like, oh man. Oh boy, oh dear. Oh dear. Ooh. All right, and Alexa just left the Mojo Bros or whatever the fuck they're <laughs> The Hype Bros. That, Mojo Raleigh and uh, oh, that's, that's the Hype Boys. Mojo Bro sounds funny. Why is everyone cheering usually? Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. Or tag you team. Horny? Well, have I got the thing for you? Take an orange out of the fridge, cut all penis shaped hole in the orange, <laughs> take out what's inside, put in a couple of rupees, and feed it to a. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> <laughs> Who's in the ring? Jobbers to it's a jobber versus jobber match. Danny Burch and Rob Ryzen. I'm pretty sure those guys are the jobbers because one of them's like 50, and the other ones <laughs> and the other ones are ones the guys are trying to push over for the tag division. Well, we all know the word name of the game in the tag division right now is American Alpha and the Revival. They're the only two tag teams that matter, even even in WWE. All right, the only ones that matter. Doctor, for real, seems so good. Who the fuck are you guys? Uh, they're just straight jobbers. Um, I think Johnny Gargano was in like Ring of Honor or something. Really? I, I recall that. Recall that name. Why are there spiders on his pants? Because he's the Spider Boy. He's Spider Boy because he uh, he is in love with an insect woman, and when oh. uh, she leaves, they she lays spiders that lay eggs all over her bed. Oh, oh. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I'm actually not aware. I feel stupid for not being aware of who this other tag team is when everybody pops so hard when the music hits. It's wacky name and wacky name against jobbers. All right, so uh, let's see. 
Yeah, Johnny Gargano's been around in a lot of independent promotions like Chikara, Dragon Gate USA, Evolve, and Pro Wrestling Gorilla. He was in Dragon Gate? He was. He also made appearances for Ring of Honor and TNA. He's a former two-time Open the Freedom Gate champion. His first reign lasted a record 873 days. That's almost three years, folks. Wow, it's like Grandmaster Sex Aid from Memphis Valley Wrestling. Yeah, yeah. So this guy is pretty much... He's pretty much a legend in terms of, like, uh, Dragon Gate wrestling. Now you know. He got engaged to former fellow professional wrestler Candice LeRae in January 2016. Candice? And my god, she is sexy. Candice Michelle. She is hot. So what do you think about the action so far in this match? Are actually, you really impressed? liking it. Yeah, both uh, teams are actually doing uh, very well with um, a technical style of wrestling, which we've talked to death about. Well, what do you expect? This is NXT. You know, we say we watch a Raw, we're going to see probably like two hours worth of fucking Shane McMahon and Stephanie McMahon and Roman Reigns promos. Maybe a couple minutes of actual real wrestling, and then the rest is bullshit. You know the thing I didn't get? Is the fact